in the first question there is an inductor a resistance and a capacitor are joined in series with an ac source as the frequency of the source is slightly increased from a very low value the reactance as we know that the reactance of inductor is proportional to omega so if omega is increased xl will increase resistance is independent of omega so it will not change and that of capacitor will obviously decrease because it is inversely proportional to omega and uh, the reactance of uh, circuit as when omega is very less the z was tending to infinity we can look at the diagrams also so in this diagram as omega is very small z tends to infinity because xc will tends to infinity and if we increase omega obviously z will decrease it will decrease further and will become minimum when omega is equal to uh, resonating frequency after that if we further increase omega z will increase so the only answer possible is c okay sorry the only answer uh, which is correct is a the inductors reactance will increase and all other are incorrect options in the second question the reactance of a circuit is zero is it possible that uh, the circuit yes uh, the circuit may have equal xl and xc or it may have uh, both the components are absent so in that two situations only the reactance will be zero first the inductor uh, and capacitor have equal reactances and in the next the circuit neither has an inductor nor a capacitor okay so there are only two options a and d are correct in the third question there is an ac circuit the instantaneous current is zero when the instantaneous voltage is maximum so we can say the phase difference between them is pi by 2 and what we can say uh, about the circuit the phase difference will be pi by 2 when it is pure inductor and when it is pure capacitor or when it is a combination of inductor and capacitor only as soon as the resistance is introduced the phase difference will no more remain pi by 2 so we can say the circuit will be pure inductive can be pure capacitive or a combination of inductor and capacitor but it should not involve a resistance okay so a b and d are the correct answers since uh, the next question is an inductor coil having some resistance is connected to an ac source which of the following quantities would have zero average value over a cycle as we have applied an ac source the current will also be ac the induced emf in the inductor will also be an alternating type of an uh, emf but the dual heating as it is proportional to we can look at the diagrams also this is the graph for current we have assumed it to be sine and as emf induced across inductor is nothing but l di by dt so it will be a cos graph so average will also be zero over an integral multiple of time period but as we look at the heat which is proportional to i square it will be sine square graph and again uh, energy stored in inductor is also proportional to uh, i square so these two will not give you zero average and average of these two which is uh, a current and this emf will give you zero inductance the next part uh, is ac voltage across a resistance can be measured using uh, a hot wire voltmeter this is a theoretical question so you should know it how it works again the next question is to convert a mechanical energy into electrical energy we can use ac dynamo so most of the power stations use this type of dynamo and produce electricity that comes in our home so we use ac dynamo 
to convert mechanical energy uh, the uh, energy of falling water from some hills and by or by forming some dams we convert it to into electrical energy and then next question there is an ac source rated 100 volt which is rms and supplies a current 10 ampere which is again rms the average power delivered by it will be we can say as the source is an ac and the power of ac is given by this average power of an ac is given by vrms irms into cos phi so as these values are 10 and 100 cos phi will be there and the overall value will be 1000 into cos phi it may be less or equal to it may be less or equal to the thousand because cos phi will be either one or less than one okay thank you